Yeah, sorry, dear. Raise the dead. G give them shots. Yes. <laughs> Can't wait for Jennifer to move out of this dump. My granddaughter needs a yard. Where does she play? The street? Gus needs some friends. Someone else who can listen to him yammer. Hope he doesn't ask any questions. He'll know I've tuned him out. I don't blame you. Sounds like a complainer. What happened to the murdered girl's body? Find an answer. What do they know about the murder of the girl in the laundry room? Note. Their neighbor left town in a hurry. Maybe it had something to do with it. That's pretty cool. It kind of leaves like a trace of uh, where you walk through. I like that. Newspaper. Kids are always breaking into the quarry. Why take such an interest in this one? Gardening tools, shovels, gloves, fertilizers, hobby, or homicide. Sounds like a homicide to me. Oh, let's head back. Wow. Apparently his wife has a bit of a temper. If she murdered that girl, where's the body? So ask the wife. Wow, calling someone over them playing music. But well, we can get to find like have a find a way to put these people behind bars, that'd be awesome. So the old woman's secret. Looks like the old man had something to do with the girl's murder, but why drive all the way to Smithwick Quarry? That's pretty obvious. While you can attempt to answer the primary question at any time, true exploration of the entire scene is often necessary. Okay. Like Grace couldn't take the girls partying anymore, so she killed her and roped her husband into helping dump the body at Smithwick Quarry. I should get back and let her know. <coughs> what a shitty way to die, man. 
Though the city of Salem has seen its rate of violent deaths increase sharply in the past few months, the Salem Police Department is unwilling to state officially that the deaths are connected. It's been a rough, rough couple of months, said SPD spokesperson Ingrid Larson, but it would be irresponsible to jump to conclusions about any of these deaths, much less a connection between them. We are investigating each of these thoroughly and making judgments based purely on the evidence. Alrighty then. There she is. Turns out, the reason you can't find your body is because it's not in the building. It's at Smithwick Quarry, about five miles out of town. Oh. Well, why'd they do it? Your parties were keeping them awake at night. They finally got too tired and snapped. I, I thought they were just being unreasonable. I didn't know they would do this. <sighs> Thanks for your help. You have no idea how big a relief it is just knowing. No problem. You know, I never really liked cops. And they were always giving me shit, telling me how I was messing up my life. We never saw eye to eye on things. But you really came through for me. Probably should have listened to what they were trying to tell me. Maybe then things wouldn't have ended up like this. Thanks again. Oh, that's nice. She was able to pass on. Good for her. Would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit jealous. I'm joking. <laughs> What is that gear on the floor? I still can't, uh... Warning poster. While police are not pointing to a serial killer in the face of a string of deaths, they are advising people to stay, at ho stay home at night and to keep doors locked while at home. Sounds like a good idea, especially with someone like that around. Need four more to uncover the story. Guess it's time to head to the second floor. <laughs> What's all that shit? Come back. Did I do that? Hey, hey! Come back! Those notes aren't for you. Great. Looks like some sort of code or something. All right, well, I'm headed up to the fourth floor before the police cart away the evidence. What the hell is this shit? That's pretty spooky. <laughs> Walking into people's showers. Alright boys, place your bets and hope your luck improves. It ain't about luck, Everine. You got that right, buddy. You might want to remember that when you're looking at your sorry track record. Well, there's always some element of chance. Maybe you'll teach us some tricks, eh? Then I couldn't keep it. Why is that there? See that orange thing? All right. Pull up your panties, gentlemen, and throw in some chips, Nate. A few more good cards would help. Keep cool, big boy. Next hand, you take her down. Either you're in, or you're out. Good lord, these boys are easy pickings. <laughs> Poor guys. I remember when I still thought poker was a game of chance. Oh, no it's not. Poker is an extremely, extremely yeah, I never strategic, know if she likes strategic game. She's just being nice. I wanna let her win. But she's just gonna win anyway. Screw that, man. 
I'm not letting anyone take my money. Oh, hey. Now we only need three more. I guess all the TVs have that orange thing coming from them. That's just so weird. Maybe she's getting too much sugar. I mean, that keeps kids awake, right? Just once, I'd like to have a nice phone conversation with an adult without interruption. That's where she's peeking out of. Oh, what are you doing in here, buddy? Hey, you enjoy scaring kids? This little girl cost me everything. It was supposed to be a simple job, easy money. What do you mean? She's just a kid. It don't matter what she is. Her daddy owed too much to the wrong people. She was just an insurance policy. Is that where you come in? A simple snatch and grab. After everything was settled up, uh, I'd let her go. I'm guessing it wasn't so simple. That may be. But she owes me now. And I ain't leaving till her debt is paid. Cut your losses. It may be a while. Don't worry. I can wait. I've got nothing but time, my friend. This guy like seems like someone who's probably gonna end up turning into a demon. Seriously, holding a grudge against a little girl? Literally nothing more pathetic than that. A police detective falls victim to what appears to be. Should be careful. That pot looks like it might fall off and uh cause a fire. Details are still emerging, but for alert. Let's do some more exploring. Let's try another house. Really only two rooms here? <coughs> two rooms on this one floor? Some pretty big ass rooms, man. That doesn't look friendly. If demons find you, they will hunt you down and suck your soul. The residue of ghost souls hides your presence from demons. You can move between hide objects to avoid demons. If demons can't find you for a while, they will stop checking and leave. Well, that's nice of them. Hold R1 to see demons through walls. Remember to always approach a demon carefully. You must approach the demon from behind if you want to execute it. Holding R2 will attempt an execution. Cool. So I guess that's how you get rid of demons. Can I use it to get rid of these guys as well? 
Well, looked like he's gone anyway, so that's good enough for me.